For an entire generation of 90s kids, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air hit all the right notes for a TV show. It was funny, entertaining, and adult-themed enough to be edgy, while still safe enough for parents to allow. But the sitcom also took on complex issues in a way that hits even deeper as adults. The Fresh Prince made a habit of breaking the fourth wall. And while it doesn't take an adult to spot those moments, only adults can truly grasp how monumental they were. Who's Omar Bulware? Some guy Will wouldn't fight? The dude that'd be spinning me over his head in the opening credits. In Will's Misery, for example, Will turns the tables on one of Carlton's pranks and makes Carlton think something tragic has occurred. Carlton, played by Alfonso Ribeiro, runs out the door and keeps on going through all the sets, then runs through the live studio audience for good measure. There's an even deeper one, too, that came after Janet Hubert was replaced in the role of Aunt Vivian by Daphne Maxwell Reed, allegedly due to a dispute with Smith. In Reed's first episode, Jazz remarks that there's something different about her, and Will takes a moment to sheepishly look out at the audience. While there's no age limit to appreciate breaking the fourth wall, few kids at the time could have known how unusual and memorable these genre-shattering moments really were. If you only remember a single episode from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, we're willing to bet it's Papa's got a brand new excuse. Consider one of the most powerful and most watched moments in the series. This touching 1994 episode left its mark on audiences. It's possible that you missed something interesting in the famously tear-jerking scene. How come you don't want me, man? Of all the urban legends about this scene, including the very false one that claims the scene was inspired by Will Smith's real-life father abandoning him, which is not true, there is also one theory that seems like it could be real. As Will and Uncle Phil embrace just after Uncle Phil tosses Will's hat aside, you can hear the sound of a woman off-screen letting out a sob. According to the Huffington Post, it's actress Karen Parsons, who plays Hillary, genuinely moved to tears whilst watching the scene being filmed. In addition, actor Ben Vereen, who plays Will's father, reportedly started weeping himself after walking off stage. In his song No Role Models, rapper J. Cole calls Uncle Phil, quote, the only father I ever knew. That's a pretty incredible acknowledgement of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's all-too-rare positive representations of a black father figure on kids' television in the 90s. But I didn't run out on my family. I was there every day for them, because that's what a man does. Philip Banks, played by actor James Avery, represents a caring and compassionate man who deviates from the pervasive, stereotypical image of an absentee black father, which you can still see showing up in media today. Uncle Phil and a few others like him helped pave the way for the more nuanced representations on television, and he left a remarkable legacy to the audience that grew up watching him. When Avery died, co-star Karen Parsons, who played Phil's daughter Hilary Banks, said she was inundated with messages from people affected by her TV dad. It may have taken some growing up to realize how important Uncle Phil was in the landscape of television fathers, but there's a generation of kids and adults who may be better off because they witnessed it. In 2014, the slogan, Hands Up, Don't Shoot, became a rallying cry for the Black Lives Matter movement. But sadly, the people who raised their hands in solidarity weren't dealing with a new issue. Way back in 1991, Fresh Prince aired an episode titled Cased Up, with a joke that viewers today understand in a very different way than they did as kids. In the episode, Jazz and Will are in court after Will wrecks his new car. When the bailiff tries to swear him in, Jazz refuses to lower his hands from the surrender position. You can put your hands down, Jazz. No way. Dude's got a gun. Next thing you know, I got six warning shots in my back. The line gets a big laugh, but the joke has a deeper meaning today. And it did back then, too. Months before Cased Up aired, the Rodney King incident had elevated tensions between police and the black community. And that scene was likely intended to connect the King controversy. While some kids may have picked up on the link at the time, few would miss the message and its connection to police brutality as it still exists today. From the very first episode, The Fresh Prince puts a spotlight on the idea that even wealthy black families face their own kind of struggles. The show dealt with subjects like Will and Carlton being arrested simply because they were young black men driving a Mercedes, and Uncle Phil's past as a civil rights activist was brought up frequently throughout the series. You talk as if I wasn't there with you in Birmingham facing dogs and fire hoses. This is me. 
There was another deep cultural issue in play though, as kids Will and Carlton might have just seemed like the classic odd couple setup of a streetwise kid and his stuffy wealthy cousin, but Carlton also found himself as an outsider on several occasions. It's in these moments that Fresh Prince takes on the topic of blackness within the black community. By the fourth season, this message evolves. When Carlton is rejected by a black fraternity because he's considered a sellout, he's forced to defend his blackness once again, and this time he refuses to change. Being black isn't what I'm trying to be, it's what I am. I'm running the same race and jumping the same hurdles you are, so why are you tripping me up? That scene showed young audiences the fluidity and nuance in blackness for perhaps the first time on television. As adults, we now possess the perspective to look back and pinpoint these formative moments from the show. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.